2007 and said, this is not a refutation of the history of City of the Book of Mormon. And they explained why. And I want to share some of their ideas. Stating that there are no modern genetic connections between Native American and Middle Eastern populations does not justify a statement that no such connections ever existed or that the Book of Mormon is a work of 19th century fiction. Uh, this is two LDS scientists, folks, page three, stating that there are no modern genetic connections right now between Native Americans and Middle Eastern populations does not justify the statement that no such connections ever existed or that the Book of Mormon is a work of 19th century fiction. See, that's the conclusion that the critics begin with. Well, the Book of Mormon can't be ancient. And obviously, this wildly ridiculous story about some angel bringing a book on cold plates, for heaven's sakes, and then Joseph Smith translating it through those spectacles, they mock everything about the origin of the Book of Mormon. You know they're going to say, anything we can do to refute the Book of Mormon, we must do so because we have to demonstrate it's a 19th century product. They've already got that conclusion. All their research is to make that conclusion stick. So they are going to be as hasty and fast and swift to pronounce any science against the Book of Mormon that they can. And this is the problem. It causes them to be sloppy. It causes them to ignore the incredible, interesting complexities of the genetics as the Book of Mormon itself states those complexities, and they, they have an overconfidence in the all-consuming power of science. Now, science is wonderful. Hey, I'm using science right now with this camera, and I'm uploading it onto a computer, and you bet you I drive my truck, and I love my microscope and my binoculars. I wear glasses. That's wonderful science. You bet I love science. But let's understand it in context. That's what Meldrum and Jeffries do. That's what Murphy and Southerton do not do. And they're still not doing it so far as I'm aware. It looks like scientists with DNA tools are well on their way to exhaustively knowing where every group of people came from for at least the last 10,000 years. That is how the critic explains DNA science against the Book of Mormon. I'm going to read this again because it's, it's utterly absurd. It is a misuse of the DNA science. And it's got to stop. It's all over the internet right now. Whoever's touting this argument, you're not very credible. You really aren't. You've lost your credibility with me. It looks like scientists with DNA tools are well on their way to exhaustively knowing where every group of people came from for at least the last 10,000 years. That argument is absolutely wrong in every respect. There is no DNA scientist who will say that. None. If you believe there is, I want names. I want departments. I want universities. Because I want to write some letters. I want to see their research. I want to know who's saying that. Not some fuddy-dud critic who's disgruntled because his bishop farts in church and it offends his testimony or something like that. I want the real goods. Give me names. Because that's the type of argument we LDS scholars and apologists are seeing, and it's a false argument. That's as simple as it gets. So, I'm going to explore in detail many, many of the ideas that Meldrum and Jeffries covers. And I'm going to show you that the DNA science is appreciated in the LDS community. It's quite fun to help compare it to our genealogy studies. That's all right. That's fun. That's nice. It's very wonderful when science can work together with us on that. But to use that science as a club 
to whack Mormonism with? No dice. You have to show me a better grasp of understanding the DNA science as well as a better grasp of the genetic information in the Book of Mormon. Not just one statement in the Book of Mormon. There are many discussions in the text itself that explains who the Nephites are, who the Lamanites are, who the Lemuelites are, who the Ishmaelites are, and Jacobites, and so on and so forth. So we're going to explore this total context of the Book of Mormon. And critics, of course, are too impatient to hear that. So in other words, they have nothing to offer you. If you're going to want to get a quick conclusion right now, oh, come on, backyard professor, come on, church, quit fudging, quit stalling for time, then don't watch my videos. Because I'm going to explain to you the background of where, why, and how DNA does not refute the Book of Mormon. That argument is simply false.